An anti-drug slogan that was pulled off double-decker buses in London is now the center of a week-long campaign around Greater Victoria and elsewhere in Vancouver Island. The ads declare that nice people take drugs. The ads are designed to get you thinking differently about drug users and drug addiction. Aaron Glazier has the story. If you saw this splashed on the side of the bus, what would you think? I'd probably laugh. Well, it depends on what you call a drug. These nice people take drugs ads were pulled from the sides of buses in London after the public transit system decided they were too controversial. But the city of Victoria and AIDS Vancouver Island say the slogan gets attention, and that's what the issue needs. It's, it is controversial, but it is one that I think uh, should make us question the way that we view drug users as a whole in our society. The city has declared this anti-stigma week, a time to focus on the issues around addiction and how to support people trying to beat it. They're using the slogan, nice people take drugs, to draw attention to the fact that addiction can hit anyone at any time. We've got events that are geared towards uh, more of a street and trench community. We've got events that are geared more towards uh, people who are housed and, uh, and uh, maybe a more affluent crowd. There's never been a social issue that's been properly dealt with where we keep it hidden in the shadows. And so shining light on some of these issues is really the goal of uh, Anti-Stigma Week this week. A 2009 survey by Health Canada found about half of the people in B.C. have used illegal drugs at some point in their life. Not all become addicted, but the ones who do face a life and death struggle. The street people have been given a bad rap, and people should talk to them and get to know them, and please don't stereotype them. Although the city of Victoria won't be splashing the nice people take drugs slogan on buses, AIDS Vancouver Island will be distributing posters, and they hope people take a look at the meaning behind the words before they jump to any conclusions. Our community needs to understand that stigma is really damaging to people's health and it stops them from accessing health services and it makes those health services less able to receive them and provide the care. So if we can end the stigma against people, if we can make people feel less ashamed, then they are really more likely to get the help that they, they need. Even the logo of Anti-Stigma Week is geared towards healing. The four circles and words meant to counterpoint these four negative associations with street drug use. I think that in our society we're going to benefit more by, by an inclusionary approach rather than an exclusionary approach of pushing people away who need our help and need our assistance. And by removing the stigma around people with drug use and addiction problems, the City of Victoria hopes to further reduce harm to those who desperately need support. In Victoria, Aaron Glazier, A News.